We explored China in November 1999 in a three-week tour by planes, boats, buses, and a train. Our group of 38 flew from Vancouver to be greeted at Beijing by night lights and a sculpture at the Hilton Hotel. The next morning, we began exploring the land of stone lions, and millions of bicycles, and the notorious Tiananmen Square. The once forbidden city, home of emperors and their concubines, offered an endless series of temples, courtyards, statue art, and animal figures on rooftops. We cruised on the lake at the Summer Palace and saw pandas at the zoo. We watched pottery being made and admired the craftsmanship and the patience of the workers. At the Ming tombs, we walked or took a tram down an avenue of stone animals which also included statues of famous emperors. A memorable highlight was our pedicab tour of the Hutong and meeting and dancing with friendly Chinese elementary students. The Chinese opera is very different from others we've seen and features a variety of dances and short stories. The Temple of Heaven was one of many we explored. We first saw the Great Wall in a painting at the airport. Now we know why t-shirts proclaim, I climbed the Great Wall. It meanders for 4,000 miles along steep mountains. We also were greeted by the city wall at Xi'an, where we enjoyed the Anna Grand Castle Hotel and sculptures in its lobby. We walked along the wall in the morning and browsed for art in the museums and the shops. Chinese music was heard at a dinner show and is also on this tape. The terracotta warriors are still being unearthed and replicas are produced to show in museums. A back street market was explored at Wuhan and school kids posed happily for photos, and men were playing cards nearby. Five days were spent on a cruise of the mighty Yangtze River and through the famous Three Gorges. We saw many boats passing by, and the site where the world's largest dam is being built. In about 10 years, the villages and cities by the river will be under a lake behind the dam. The Chinese burn coal for industry and heating homes, so the atmosphere is very hazy. Expert pilots guide boats carefully as the river twists and turns on a 4,000-mile course. We learned about Chinese customs and were entertained by presentations on the ship. One tour from the ship went to a museum and huge market at Wangxian. The Chinese people are hard workers and carry all kinds of loads with poles and baskets. We found them to be very friendly. The amazing skills of young acrobats were exhibited in a show we saw at Wansian. Small boats also took us up the Danning River to view the three small gorges and activities of people along the way. Our cruise ended at Chongqing, where we visited the Great Hall and admired art in a gallery there. The square by our hotel was filled with people walking and shopping by day and night. Silk is produced from the cocoons of silkworms at this factory. 
Its shop also included figures made from pearls. The sculpture in a traffic circle is a symbol of Kunming, where ducks and geese for sale were seen along the road. The stone forest is a unique array of natural formations that once were on the bed of an ocean. Our cameras were kept busy trying to capture the different views in this area. We toured a monastery called the Bamboo Temple. It had many paintings and sculptures and a series of small galleries on its grounds. This sculpture was seen at the airport at Guilin. From there, we cruised up the Lee River and watched people and animals alongside. The hills rise steeply from the river valley. Cormorants trained for fishing were lined up on a boat. Life along the river is very busy. We spent more of our yuan in a market of Yangshuo. We learned to bargain hard for the best prices, and many small items could be bought for only one dollar. One day's journey included Canton, where we saw a famous hall and a museum with intricate roof and wall art, ivory carvings, and a display of bonsai plants. We came to Hong Kong by train and admired its skyline across the harbor from Kowloon, where we stayed. A bus took us to the Stanley Market, and we saw jewelry being made, admired the creativity of its artists. A floating restaurant was among the sights we enjoyed from Sampans, on which we cruised in Victoria Harbor. Some people live on houseboats in the harbor. The lights of Canton Road stretched from our hotel to the waterfront, which was glorious at night. We also took a short cruise from Hong Kong to a nearby island, and we enjoyed the beach at Discovery Bay. A bird sanctuary was in a park near our hotel and a sculpture of frolicking dolphins was on the patio at the hotel. As our tour ended, we got some final views of the tall buildings and the skyline of Hong Kong. These will always remain in our memories.